Hello guys, my name is JP, and welcome back to The Sims 4. This is me. He can do things. Not really, he's frozen. He's frozen in time because I am a Time Lord. No, not really. Anyways, last time we designed him, me, we bought a lot, and we completely designed the house. Like, the house is physically built. We're ready to go. Uh, so now I just need to go ahead and start populating it with stuff. So let me go ahead and see objects by room. Uh, I guess let's do some of the important stuff first and then work with whatever we have left as far as money goes. Uh, so let's go with what's cheap <laughs> for a lot of stuff, which is worrying. Like, the price, the prices in this game jump quite a bit. And a lot of the stuff isn't unlockable until you reach a certain level within a career. Like, this is, this is pretty good, but it's a level 10 of culinary career for the chef branch. So we'll never have that. I don't know what these are supposed to do. These range hoods, other than look kind of fancy. So we won't be getting one of those. Uh, unfortunately, we have to go with this cheap-ass one. I do like the new uh, right-click to rotate. That makes it so much easier. In previous games, you had to kind of hold it and then drag it in the direction you wanted it to face. It's a little tedious. So let me go ahead and get some counters here, some cheap-ass counters. Automatic counter placement is on. Click again to turn it off. Okay, whatever that means. Now we're not going to have a full kitchen just yet. We're mostly just going to have the space we need to get things done. Because we still have a lot of stuff to buy. Bridge can go there. Uh, we will need a sink, because there's no dishwashers in the game yet. I'm going to go with a cheapy sink. It's a bath sink, though. It's. Mm, I guess the game's not really going to care. It's not going to penalize me for using a, a bath sink instead of a, instead of a kitchen sink. The game doesn't actually know the difference. Do we actually need a microwave for anything? Other than to keep this guy from burning stuff. Look, I'd rather get a fire alarm and have him actually cook. Because we don't need any little appliances. At least not yet. It's cheaper just to have him cook. More effective anyways, as far as like skill level up and stuff. Now, the reason I left so much room for the kitchen is because I'm almost certain the expansion is going to add stuff like, like I said, like a dishwasher, trash compactor, uh, just like the expansions for the previous game did. So I'm leaving space in anticipation of those, because we will we'll move on up. That's, that's helpful. I'm leaving space in anticipation of having those things to add into the game. That's why I left so much space. Uh, trash can. Because we will need a trash can. I'm colorblind, so just whatever. Feels really small. We'll put it over here in the corner. Okay, so that's that. We'll just go down this row and do all the things. Uh, do I want a tub or do I want a shower? Which is cheaper? The cheapest shower is 275. The cheapest tub is 250. But it even says it's uncomfortable. Let's. Hmm. Okay, so moving up. This one is 450. So it's 500. 
I really don't want to have to take an uncomfortable one. And I don't want to have to take a tub because it seems impractical. So let me go ahead and take a shower. Not physically me take a shower, but let's get a shower. I'm just going to put this under the light. That would make sense. Because this restroom is gigantic. Like, this is the biggest freaking restroom I've ever seen in a Sims game. And I'm not going to take anything that purposely gives uncomfortable. So we'll take a modern relief. Now a lot of this stuff is going to be breaking constantly, so that's going to suck. I'm also going to go ahead and move over this light by one space. So I can put the sink directly under it. And let's get a mirror. Because that actually is something we will need. This doesn't make a difference what mirror it is. Like, this costs $100 more almost, but it doesn't do anything. Again, this is one of those things I'm going to leave a lot of extra space for. So hopefully when we have a lot of money, we can put like a little hot tub in here or something. Uh, just whatever we want to do. It's better to leave a lot of space than design a house and not have enough space and then be screwed over by it. Let's get a bed. Uncomfortable for adults. Weird. Just uncomfortable in general. Comfortable. Okay, this is the cheapest one that doesn't suck. Oh, yeah, it's a huge price difference. We're going to take this one. What is with these colors? Like a plain one? It's a really derpy bed. I'm gonna take the default one, whatever it is. Keep in mind, I'm colorblind, so if I take weird colors, have some patience with me, because that's usually why it is. Look at them light the windows in here are so high up with them. And actually, I need to get rid of this one to begin with. Because that's hypothetically where the TV would be going. I prefer to have the windows higher up. Oh man, I missed a spot with the... Damn it. Is that all of it? Okay, yeah, that's all of it. I didn't know I missed the spots. Good thing I went around. It's a good thing I had the walls up. It's back to what we were doing. Uh, this is the bedroom. You really don't need much for the bedroom right now in the game. Uh, you can change outfits without having to go to a cabinet. Without having to go to a dresser, so there's no purpose in the dressers at all. Uh, you don't really need a mirror because all the mirrors only have the one function. You just charisma. You can talk to yourself. There's no point in any of that. Uh, I don't need decorations. The end tables don't do anything other than hold little things. You don't need a clock because your sim is, for the most part, completely automated as far as work goes. They will leave to work on their own, and they will do work on their own. You very rarely have to interact with work. It's not like before where you... When you'd follow them, it would take you to their workplace, and you'd kind of sit there and watch. Now they just leave. It fast-forwards through time, and they come back. That's pretty much it. I missed another spot here. Okay, let's see. Because I don't think there was door frames. Let me check. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Maybe I'll fix that eventually, and add... Yeah, I should do that now, before I... Otherwise, I'll never do it. Let's 
Let me go and get these frames. It's like I said, otherwise I'll just never get it done. And actually the spacing on this is better. It's it's more where I wanted it to be. I didn't even think to look for frames. So really the bedroom just needs to be a bed. It has no other purpose. At least for right now. Unless you want to have sex in the bed, in which case you need a double bed, I think. But that is not a current issue, so that is done. The bed simple bedroom is done. Just a bed. We'll have to put lights and stuff, but we'll come back and do all the lights in a little bit. Uh, couches. Let's get a cheapy couch. As long as it doesn't have any... As long as it doesn't have any uncomfort, I'm fine. Uncomfort. Televisions. It's safe to assume that I cannot afford a decent television. At least not for quite some time. So we go ahead and get a cheapy coffee table to put this thing on. Crappy TV. There you go. Ideally, we'll have other stuff in here eventually. But for now, that's what we have. We can maybe take a stereo too. But not right now. We'll add other stuff later on. Like, we'll probably put a fireplace uh, in this corner. Like, uh, let's see, you have fireplaces, but they're all 600, 1200, 2000. So really I want to get up to, I want to build my money back up before I start getting expensive stuff like that that doesn't serve much of a purpose other than, like, environment. While it makes the sim enjoy the place a little bit more, it doesn't serve any purpose this early on. Let's go ahead and do dining room. This one will be one of those... Horribly simple ones. I'm not going to take the cheapest one because I actually like the way this one looks. And some simple chairs. Just a couple. I don't plan on having anybody over. There's a bar. I could get a bar, maybe. 700. Mm -hmm. We'll wait on that. That'll be one of those wait and see kind of things. And this is the one where I'm probably going to spend a lot of money, because this is the stuff I will not cheap out on. Because this is where we're going to be spending most of our time, realistically. Here at the desk and stuff. Because a lot of this game is actually played at your computer in the game. Uh, this is where you this is where you write. You no longer do physical things. Uh, you can pay the bills here. Uh, all of your fun, unless you want to deal with having to mostly use a TV. Uh, computer is the best way to do most of the stuff. How low could you go desk, desk block a computer? Fun, 5, reliability, 3. Fun, 6, reliability, 3. Video gaming, programming, comedy, writing, video game. Okay. I'm just looking and making sure that there's no reason I should be taking the better one. Because this is a, what, $600 difference for one more fun that's not really... I mean, this computer sucks really bad, but uh, there is no reason to take the better one 
if it's only a one increase. Take some bookshelves. We'll take a skill thing here in case we need it. How do I want to do this? What's, what do I actually want to do in this game? I took computer nerd, right? Let me check. Computer wiz. Okay, so what are the things going to be? Practice programming for 10, 10 total hours. That's easy enough. It's just an activity there at the computer. And own three thousand dollars worth of electronics, so that's that'll come eventually. So we don't need anything else in here for now. I'd like to have a decent chair though, like for sitting there and reading or whatever. Like that, and now we need to put in some lights. The prestige. I'm just gonna put one light per per small room for now. Cause that it actually does increase your your bills. For how many lights you have in an area. I'll put two in the kitchen. Because that just makes sense. One in the dining area and two in the living room. So the house is alright. It's not too bad. And really, we're good to go. The house is unnecessarily large for the amount of stuff we currently have, but... We will need the space eventually. I hope to fill my house with many, many happy things. But, while we are ready to go, I will save that for the next episode. Uh, looks like the first order of business will be having to make something to eat, because he's pretty hungry. But that'll do it for today. Next episode, we will get into the gameplay. So, uh, thank you for watching. My name is JP, and I will see you next time with more Sims 4.